Hello everyone, here we are with our pen ultimate accessory. I can't believe it's gone so fast, right? These have been a marvelous 21 days. Those of you who have thrown yourselves in these 21 days, as we've been hearing testimonies every day when we watch the videos, we see testimonies of people being blessed by these 21 accessories. And we see that God really came yes. to change the legs, our they spiritual might church, life. They are very happy. They are watching every day. Yes. The, the 21 accessories. They are really blessed yes and it's it's wonderful to hear feedback from you and mm -hmm. to see how such a simple idea has been changing not only your your lives but our lives every day that i i get my own accessories i don't look at them in a simple way anymore i see god acting changing molding my faith and today is not going to be different right yes because normally when you look uh, uh, with the uh, accessory you will realize ah mm -hmm. they spoke about their glass exactly but what this glass uh my reference about this in my life inside of me exactly what you look for is what this accessory do in my life exactly. inside of me because it's not we're not talking about only about accessory yes. because my glass don't save Nothing my life Th mm -hmm. This doesn't help. Doesn't help me. Mm -hmm. yes. Of course, with this I can read much better. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's nice. But in spiritual way, mm -hmm. you know what this mini accessory yes. can materialize. I think this was a very creative way that God Himself found to reach to us women, mm -hmm. isn't yes. it? Because He knew that with this message. Every time we pick up that accessory, we're going to hear his voice. We're going to hear him saying, yeah. remember to watch your eyes like we did with the glass. Yeah. Remember not to grow old in your spiritual life. Remember you not to... Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> remember with, with the umbrella. So every time you pick up an umbrella, you're going to remember, I cannot treat God like an umbrella. Yes. Only, only pick him up when I need him. So these accessories are something that's going to affect us for the rest of our lives. It's a message every day that God is going to be finding to mm -hmm. a way that he's going to be finding to renew ourselves. And today's accessory is special. What's today's accessory, Eliana? <laughs> today, all of these rings, by the way, belong to someone. <laughs> they belong to only one person or oh, one and a half. <laughs> she's not here. The, the, the other one is not here, so she's half. She's in spirit. Anyway, so what does the ring have to do with our spiritual life? When we think of a ring, I know what many of you are thinking. You're thinking... <laughs> Marriage? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. Engagement? <laughs> <laughs> Commitment, Fashion? isn't Ooh. it? <laughs> Our thoughts? A commitment. Many of them, you're probably thinking, uh-oh, this is something that is to do with commitment because this is something I use when I want to commit to someone. But you mentioned a word that we're going to we're going to bring you, which is something new and different understanding of what a ring means. And let's refer to this Bible verse, right? Mm -hmm. This Bible verse speaks to about the prodigal son. So this was the son who took his riches after his father gave him lots of riches. And he decided, you know what, give me my inheritance. I want to spend it. And he went and he spent all of it and he lost it. And after, you know, life had hit him hard, after everything had gone wrong, he decided, well, I'm going to go back to my father's house, right? It's <laughs> always like this. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. We hit our head on the wall, right? And so this is we're going to watch how God reacted to him when he came back. Because when you think of it, you horrible son, you spend your father's hard-earned fortune, and now you come back, we expect the father to behave in one way, right? Mm. But we see here a different way that the father reacted. So let's watch and see what the father says. It says, But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe mm. and put it on him. And put a ring on his hand, a ring on his hand, and sandals on his feet. Wow. So when he arrived, Immediately, the father 
no accusation, right? Yes. The father did not question him. Where were you? What did you do with the fortune I gave you? No you see, no judgment, yes. right? Yes. No reason for him to feel guilty. Immediately, the father said to the servant, bring out not only the robe, but bring out the best, the best robe and put it, put it on him and put a ring on his hands and sandals on his feet. So what was this robe? This robe is how we come, right? Yes. We come to church full of dirty clothes like this, 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 um, prodigal son came full of dirty clothes, full of, yes, Scratchy. full of sin, right? Bad thoughts. Exactly. Bad feelings, mm -hmm. sin, all bad feelings that someone can imagine. And, and when, when he came that way, the father was not concerned about, about that. The father immediately began to wash him. So removed all those things, removed the grudge, gave him peace. Yes. We opened his eyes, made, removed the guilt that he felt, made him feel welcome in his presence, and gave him new clothes. And that's what happens. We come full of sin, and God begins to wash us. He God's begins wonderful. to make us conscious, mm -hmm. right? All the time. But he mm -hmm. took the decision to come back. Yes. Yes. yes I know. Yes. So today is the same. If the person take this decision to come back to God, to remove the dirt clothes, to remove the the grudges, the bad feelings, sin, yeah. whatever is there, accuse them. Mm -hmm. So God will purify them. We will give the the clean the new clothes, the, new clothes, mm -hmm. the sandals, mm -hmm. and then and then the ring. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> we'll go to our break right now, and after that we we'll come back to show to you what the ring is all about. Yeah? Yes. See you then. My husband committed suicide when I was quite young, left me with three young children. It was about eight years of abuse, starting for psychological abuse until he got physical. I just felt so lost as a teenager, I didn't know who I was. I kind of just felt very, very lonely. My grandmother passed away. Eight months after, nine months after, then my mother passed away too. I kind of buried those emotions. I was having really sleepless nights and I was really desperate. Depression, that was affecting me. 10 years I was on medication. We didn't want to stop. Go, we didn't want to stop talking and go to break, right? Yes. Because there's, this this is such a huge revelation. And friend, you need to understand this because this is how God treats you. And once you understand this, you're not going to be the same person anymore. You're not going to be a weak person. So what is this that this ring represents? Wow. I'm gonna make you think of a situation in the Bible. Remember when um, Joseph saved the life of Egypt mm -hmm. and Pharaoh called him in his presence and Pharaoh said, okay, Joseph, from now on, <laughs> my ring becomes yours. It's what was that? Authority. What was no. Pharaoh giving you? <laughs> Pharaoh was saying, now, from now on, every time that you open your mouth, your words will be my words. It means your words will carry my authority. That's what Pharaoh gave, gave to, to Joseph. But now, God himself is giving his authority to you. Yes, but you know, many children nowadays, you know, when turn back, come back to home, mm -hmm. and they, you know, have many dirty things inside of them, humiliate about, uh, about uh, things outside. So the, the, the time when they come and the mother, father open their door mm -hmm. for you, who will come home? Like in our church, we receive a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Many people come to talk to us. Yes. Humiliate. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's the point. When mm -hmm. you be humble, you know, because the world, mm -hmm. it's always like this. They humiliate. Mm -hmm. If you don't put yourself separate in God's presence, so the world, humiliate you mm -hmm. because before you were in the hands of 
bad things. Mm -hmm. So now when you totally clean, you you came to us. So our church, our doors open for you. Imagine I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. If I saw my daughter, you know, with dirt clothes, humiliate, dirt, who I am to give to her just my despise. Mm -hmm. No way. Mm -hmm. I embrace her. I take care. It doesn't matter what she do or made. It doesn't matter. I'm your mother. So when you have this kind of spirit, the spirit of God in us, that's the way God looks to us like this. It doesn't matter what you do, what you, you made, you have inside of you. It doesn't matter. And not only God, right, Claudia? Because now everything in the spiritual world begins to recognize God's authority in you. And that's so beautiful. And you see, that is the reason why many people have this difficulty of receiving the Holy Spirit because there's a battle in that takes place in the spiritual world. Because evil knows that it, once you realize the kind of authority that you have in God, then evil has lost its place in your life. So every time that you're going to start, take a new step, evil brings accusation no you you will never receive forgiveness you you will never be forgiven for what you did look look yesterday you did this you lied yesterday you watched pornography yesterday you you did this but we see that that's not god's reaction god did not even ask his, his son where have you been what did you do the minute that the son took a decision to come back to him god said okay change your clothes, wash him, clean him. So God sent, you see, his own servants. The father sent his own servants. The same way that God sends his angel, his spirit, to come and wash you and make you a new creature and, and he, give you authority. He gave you give to him authority. Exactly. exactly. That's a matter. Imagine, you know, try to think about authority. Mm -hmm. Only the government, people, you know, top, 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 mm -hmm. top, top, mm -hmm. you know, have this authority. But our God, Mm -hmm. have this authority and our God give to us this authority you need to stop and think of what that means it means every time you open your mouth your words carry the authority of God yes. so when you have this faith when you come and you give yourself and you surrender yourself to him when you say you know what I'm going to go there and this job will be mine that word carries an authority. It carries God's authority. So as, the, the, as soon as you declare it, God declare, declares it through you because he has given you that authority. And that's the authority God gave to you right now to receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. exactly. mm -hmm. And you need the Holy Spirit. You need this inside of you. God gave to you this authority for you to receive. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Jesus said, look, Jesus said, I watched Satan fall like <laughs> lightning from heaven, right? So now I have given you authority to trample on Satan. But many do not use this yes. authority because Satan uses his own authority yes. in, a, in a clever way. He, he doesn't have authority, but he uses cleverness to yes. deceive you, to make you for, to make you not use your own authority. So he comes and he says, don't use your authority against me. Don't use it. Don't use it because yesterday you did this. Don't use your authority. <laughs> and so you fall into it. He yeah, puts people fear. fear. Exactly. <laughs> now with God, if you are humble, you put your humble yourself, you, you can come in the presence of God, ask, you know, to, to him to forgive yourself. Oh, yes. Immediately you remove your clothes, change your clothes, you put in the rings your, your finger and you receive the forgiveness. You receive what you want. This message is for you who say, you know what, day 15, I slipped in my in, the, in my fast because I did I did I, I I went and I watched that football game. I couldn't I couldn't um resist. So now I'm not gonna receive the Holy Spirit. Says who? If you decide now, if you say now, my gosh, my God. I want you, my God, I want to surrender my life. I don't want to look back to the things that I did. I want to look forward from now on and I want to walk from now on with you. So today he washes you and he gives you <laughs> this authority for you to trample on snakes you know, and scorpions. Me, I took long for me to receive the Holy Spirit. Why? But because I was always doubting about the Holy Spirit. But once I understood these authorities, 
removed so I removed dirt the dirt clothes. You know, I remove all the doubts, all the thoughts that was against God, and then the promise came. Amen. 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 And so now today is the same. Yes. God is giving these 21 days a opportunity for all of us, yes. for those who have the Holy Spirit to be renewed, and also for those who say that I don't have. So this is your opportunity. God, God gave to us already this authority. So we just need to grab it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And exactly. after that, he gave something this, more. The sandals, oh, right? Wow. After that, he gave the sandals. What we, what were these sandals? In the past, um, the sandals represented freedom mm -hmm. because no slave was around, was allowed to use Absolute. shoes. Yes. So everyone who was who had no sandal on their feet, who walked um, bare feet, it meant that that person was a slave. So immediately the father said, no, my, my son is not a slave. Give him shoes. So that meant with him, with him, he becomes, a, I mean, in my presence, he becomes a prince. So that authority brought, even with it, it brought, It brought the son rights to be to be in the in the yeah, father's amazing. in the father's kingdom, right? Yeah. It's like he, who you are. Yeah. <laughs> Think about us. Who you are? He was prince. <laughs> exactly. Did you receive this authority? So, mm -hmm. if you don't receive this authority yet, what do you wait for? <laughs> we know we live we live in in England, which which makes it very easy for you to understand what authority is because we have the king. I mean yes. the queen. We have princes, and you know how much they carry weight in this country. Yes. You know that if it's said that the queen will be in a certain place, you know that you know what. Uh, people will have to respect you know the world will have to move to make space for them so that is you you are you are a child of god you carry this this, this authority in you you are a prince or a princess in god's kingdom and yes. today god wants to bring to you a new life right yes what do we I think the more words. We don't need to say more. We don't need to say more. You just yes. need to claim it. Yes. Because I can, I can tell you at this moment, you will need to claim it. You will need to to use this authority to claim this pro, this, this uh, promise A that promise. He's given you, yes. and God we believe He's with you. So tomorrow we we'll come back. Don't forget yes. to put in your comments, your Please. pictures, and tomorrow we feel the last. You cannot miss. You cannot <laughs> miss tomorrow's I accessory. Oh, wow. <laughs> As you can see, it keeps getting better and better, and tomorrow's one will not be different. And so we were gonna see you tomorrow with see yet you. another accessory. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.